Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with that. Anyway, okay, I just wanted to tell you something, because this is really weird to me, and I'm not really sure what's going on, but, um, my roommates are vi- uh, th 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 Try that again. My roommates are avoiding me like the plague. Like, every time I go in here, they just book it the F out. I don't know, like, do I smell funny? Because, I mean, I, I have talked about girls smelling funny, but I- I don't know. I didn't- I don't think I smell funny. Like, I can't taste my smell, like, when they spray perfume. Like, that sounds weird, but that's what happens. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bitch because of all the previous things that I've talked about with them. Or maybe I'm just obnoxiously loud and... Yeah, that's... That might be it. Because I, I, I am pretty loud. I mean, you can't tell me to be quiet. Like, that's like telling, like, a noisemaker to not make noise. Like, you can't... You can't do that. That's just what I do. I'm a very, very loud person. But they're just gone. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's weird. And my... There's... I'm just a messy person. There's food everywhere. <laughs> um, no, I seriously... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But anyway. Uh, side note. My advisor is a bitch. Um, I have heard from him three times. I don't know if I've told you this, but I'm gonna recap. Uh, once when I met him, uh, once when I had a question about second semester registration last semester, and he's like, three weeks late, he got back to me in an email saying, oh, I'm sorry, you have to make an office appointment, blah, 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 I'm not allowed to discuss this over email. Like, just... I understand that, but the fact that it was three weeks... Three... God, I just cannot talk today. Three weeks late, and just... He's being a brat about it. Like, oh, sorry, I can't do this. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Get... Like, quit. Now, this is not meant for you at all. Um, and then, uh, at the end of the school year, he sent all the freshmen a little, like, Yay, you survived! You're not dead, kind of congratulatory letter type thing saying, oh, good for you, you made it, good job, you're not on academic probation, blah, blah, blah. And it was, you, just the way it was worded was so generic and, like, you could tell that somebody else went in and just changed all the names on there and was like, oh, dear so-and-so, dear Stephanie, dear blah, blah, and just changed it and sent it out to everybody. Like, it wasn't anything original or anything. And that, that insincere, generic crap pissed me off, and like, I already did not like him, but again, side story, we will get to in a minute. And then I heard from him today, okay? My registration is tomorrow. Do you know what he said to me today? He's like, hey, you are not allowed to register till we talk. And I'm like, what? What? No, back it up. Excuse me, what? Uh, that doesn't happen. I'm registering tomorrow. When do you want me to talk to you? He's like, oh, I've, like, oh, this is Friday and Monday. And I'm like, excuse you, sir. Uh, you need to quit. Now. The fact that I, this is the first time I'm hearing of this, the day before my registration? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, that's not happening. But, he said he will lift the restriction on my registration, but I still have to go in and see him. And then, all my classes that I want are filled up, so I need exemptions and... Ugh. But yeah, anyway, uh, no. So I already didn't like my advisor because, um, there have been three people in my life where... I don't, I don't know what it is. They, they like, give me a look. It's just, it's just one look, and it's just the weirdest, like, condescending, I want you to die, I hate you, there's something very, like, threatening to me about your existence kind of look, and I don't understand it. I don't, why would someone give me, like, a death look, or, like, okay, there was, there was one girl who gave me a death look, which was completely 
understandable because uh, her boyfriend was involved in that situation. But it was it was still really stupid and hilarious. But no, like these guys. Okay, so my uh, sophomore math class teacher uh, replacement guy, because my teacher was pregnant and went on maternity leave midway through the semester, and um, this guy, Mr. Horn, replaced her, and I had like a high grade in the class, like a 91%, and I suck at math, okay, I'm... I, I just suck at math. Like, me and numbers are not friends. We've gone over this before. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. So, anyway, uh, my friends were all like, can we go to the math center? You're not teaching us this. Blah, blah, blah. And so, they went to the math center, which was, like, down the hall. I'm like, hey, can I go down the math center with them to go study? And he just gave me this look. Didn't even answer. Just stared at me for about three seconds with this death glare. And I'm like, what? did I do something to you in a past life? What? Why? Can, can I help you? Is there something? I don't know. So, like, just this, like, like, he did this whole, like, head turn down, like, look up, and just, like, really intense glare, and I was, I had no idea. So, like, me being the little sophomore in high school, I was just like, D okay, I'm gonna go. So I went. <laughs> um, and never asked him another question. I just went to the math center and talked to my friends and went to my old teachers. I just completely was like, done with you for the rest of the semester. And so, uh, there was another guy who I met a couple of, well, like last year, and uh, I probably won't ever see him again. But he also gave me that look. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, and then he started talking, and I kind of figured it out why, because we, our viewpoints were just so drastically different on everything. So it was that guy I understand. But my advisor, the day I met him, I was like, hey, I took this test, and it says I'm supposed to be in this math class, and he gave me that look. And I was like, seriously, what did I do? And the strange thing about all three of these people, they look pretty much the same. They all have, they all fit into a very, st like, not stereotypical, but like, a specific group of people that, I don't know, like, if you were to put, if you were to categorize each per, each, like, this person has brown hair and green eyes, and this per, like, short brown hair with green eyes, and this person has long brown hair and green eyes, and characterize people by their traits, and just like, if, like, one thing was different, it was in a different group. No, these three people are all in the same group of people. So, if that makes any sense at all. Like, they look the same. And so I'm like, are you the same person? Past life? Like, did they die and were reincarnated? What, I, what's going on here? So I already did not like him because me and him don't see eye to eye or something. And uh, so when I called him today, I was, like, on the phone, I'm like, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. He answers, he's like, hi, Stephanie, how are you? I'm like, don't talk to me like you know me. Don't do that. We we're not friends. You're a bitch. I don't fucking like you. Um, sorry, this whole not swearing thing is obviously not working out for me if you haven't figured it out yet. Uh, that's probably an indicator of what's to come because I have a lot of goals for the summer. Nope, I'm not gonna think that way. I'm gonna do my goals and I'm gonna shut your face. Um... But no, so I'm just like, like, he doesn't sound like a bitch on the phone. In person, he's a bitch. So I just, I don't like him. And he needs to quit or get fired or something. But I gave him a craptastic review, so it's okay. Um, hopefully that'll help. Probably not. But uh, I get a new, new advisor next semester, I think. Hopefully. I don't know. Uh, I just felt like sharing that lovely story with you, because... Felt like you need to know, and I need to start making videos again. I don't know what's happening. Because I think I'm um, hilarious, and uh, I kind of love my face. So, yeah, I know I'm a terrible person. Get over it. <laughs> um, at least I can laugh at that. Like, you can't laugh at yourself. What else are you going to laugh at? <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go work on... Maybe another cosplay. I don't know.
That'd be freaking adorable if I could accomplish it. I don't... Okay, whatever. I'll talk to you later. Bye.